Collection view is a view for presenting lists of data using different layout specifications. It aims to provide a more flexible and performant alternative to list view. Collection view should be used for presenting lists of data that require scrolling or selection. While the collection view and list view APIs are similar, there are some notable differences. Collection view is a flexible layout model, which allows data to be presented vertically and horizontally in a list or a grid. Supports single and multiple selection. Has no concept of cells. And does not include built-in separators. Good day everyone. I'm Michael, and I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. In this video lesson, you will learn the following. 1. Create Xamarin Forms Collection View. 2. Populate data and add selection event. Now let's open the Visual Studio and do some coding. Let's create first the data model. Here is our data model, with three properties. The category is an enumeration type. Now let's go back to main page and add the collection view element. The appearance of each item in the collection view can be defined by setting the collection view item template property to a data template. There are three elements inside the grid, which are bound to the property of the animal model. To populate a collection view with data, we need to set its item source property to any collection that implements ienumerable. Let's go to code behind and set the item source. Here is our data collection. The image I used is already added to Android project resources. And again, in a real-world application, this data usually come from a database or from a remote service. We can now assign this collection to the item source property of the collection view. 
Remember that we assign a name to the collection view so that we can access it here and set its item source. Let's run the app. The name and category element overlaps. I forgot to set the row of the category. So here is our collection view where the data comes from an observable collection. Notice, if I click an item, the background color of the selected item does not change. This is because the selection mode property's default value is set to none, which indicates that items cannot be selected. The enumeration member of the selection mode property is none, which is the default, sigil, and multiple, which indicates that multiple items can be selected. Now let's set its selection mode at some events to respond to a single item collection. Make sure to set the selection mode property to single or multiple to fire the selection changed event. Back to code behind and implement the event. Let's just display an alert message. Here we get the selected item from the methods arguments, which is selection changed event args. And access its property, which is the current selection. The current selection property returns a list of objects. To get the selected item only, we can set the index to zero to get the first content of the collection. After getting the item, we need to cast it to an animal model then assign it to a variable. Then display the selected item's name property if the item is not null. Let's run the app again. Now if we select an item, the background color changes and calls the display alert method. For my next video lesson, I will be showing how to add context menu items in the collection view by swiping the item using a swipe view element. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone!